Hi, it's Mike Rogotsky. The other day I was showing a colleague an interesting data set in ArcGIS Pro. Hurricane data that I have for hurricanes that have affected Canada over the past several years. Now I've symbolized it in 3D, in my 3D map in Pro, and I have some interesting symbology that I've used, or at least I find it kind of interesting. Let's take a look at the uh, data from this view here. Basically, the um, higher the um, pillar, or the cylinder, the um, higher the wind speed, the lower, the lower the wind speed. And I've also got some coloring here. Now, the closer to yellow is the higher air pressure. And uh, as you get closer to red, that is lower air pressure. The lower the air pressure in the hurricane produces these strong and um, destructive w winds. So I would like to show how we make this data set. And the fact is that this is, this is data that's not even um, in a 3D format to begin with. So if I go back to um, a 2D view here in ArcGIS Pro, what I can um, what I can do is I'll add the data in its um, native form that I have it in, and this is just in a geo database. So I have the tracks and I have observation points along the tracks. Now for each of these um, points, I'll make it a little bigger so it's not so hard to see. I have attribute values like we might expect for um, any data set. So I have a storm name, year, uh, month, and so on. We can see storm type, um, intensity, time, the reading that was taken. I also have the wind speed, and I also have the air pressure. So with those values, I can then take that information and use both wind speed and air pressure to make that very good 3D uh, representation of the data that really gives it more explanation to see how and um, how powerful or how not powerful the hurricane was at each time. So I'll go back to the um, 3D view here. And what I'll do is start the process of making the data um, appear in 3D. Now, the way I do that is I use this tool called Presets, which allows me to take different types of um, thematic sets here and apply that symbology to the data I'm working with. So in this case, these thematic shapes would, um, would do the job quite nicely for us. So what it does is it asks for the data set, since it wants to symbolize a specific data set as I add it to the 3D view. And as I add it here, it's going to default to having um, a centered sphere. Now, there's a lot of neat choices here. The cylinder is going to work well to give us that nice um, bar type look. For color, I want to start using the attributes and the fields that we have. So the first thing I said was um, we're going to work with air pressure for the color. Lots of good values in the color ramp like we might expect. Uh, and I'll use the yellow to red. I'm going to flip this around here a bit because basically I want lower pressure, lower values in our air pressure to look um, more fierce, the red values, and the higher pressure would be the yellow in this case here. Then what I want to do is work with the height. So for height, we want to use the wind speed. So that'll be easy in that case. And then I want to start working with the scale values. So the scale values, um, they're a little trickier. We're not just going to pick um, fields in that case. But what I can do here is take um, different values that I have for how I want this to scale and the width of the individual um, in the width of the individual features as well. So you can see here, using this aspect ratio, I get something off the start that doesn't um, look quite right. But if I uncheck that, it allows me to set up my own width. And so this is where um, a little experimentation with values will come in handy. If I were to pick, um, in this case, I know that a value of um, 90,000 meters is going to be great for my um, width. I can apply that to our data, and we'll start to see if we get a nice representation of those bars. Say I um, up that a little bit, you'll start to see how this changes what we have. So it's kind of nice. You can experiment with it. Very forgiving. Um, you can refer to the help as well for information about um, how you can work with these values a little bit a little bit more. So once we have that done, we can see we have our data set. Um, we have our data set set up. I can um, take a look for, at it again from that other angle, that um, southern view, and um, it gives us that information about the hurricanes uh, that we wanted to see. If I wasn't happy with any of these values, I can go back and change them. If I wanted to um, change any of my thematic shapes that I have, I could take different ones here. Um, something a little more ferocious, a little more fierce if uh, I wanted that type of look. Uh, 
don't think I'll stick with that one. I think I'll stick with the cylinders, but um, I think that's a nice, um, nice way to represent it. And it's really interesting to see how we can take data, which is essentially just points uh, that don't really have any 3D inform information, and we can use ArcGIS Pro to represent this data in a 3D view to really tell us and allow the data to explain what it has and um, the message behind it.